welcome to News 6, which, which is brought to you this week by the 6th grade at Hayes Elementary in Fremont. Our program this week deals mostly with unusual places and unique people in Fremont. And here's Mike to start us off. One of Fremont's most famous places and pride and joy is Spiegel Grove. Spiegel Grove is a private home of the 19th President of the United States, Ruther B. Hayes. Hayes and his family lived and died at Spiegel Grove, and the present child attended our school at Hayes Elementary. While studying about Hayes, we went to Spiegel Grove. The present houses are surrounded by iron gates, which once rained the White House. The house is just as it was when Hayes died in 1893, and it gives us a good picture of how people lived back then. The Hayes Museum is also on the 25-acre estate, and he depicts life as it was in the Civil War in 1900. Most, some of the most interesting exhibits are da daughter Fanny's dollhouse, which she received in 1878, and the president's carriage, the Brewster Landau, which purchased by Hayes in 1877 and was used as the official White House vehicle during his presidency. Also, a great interest is the sideboard and buffet table, which was carved for the White House in 1880. The channel displayed on it was Hayes White House Prowselin. Several years ago, it was sold as surplus furniture, and then the Hayes Library purchased it in 1967. We learned more about the Hayes tradition from Mrs. Iva Sprunk. Mrs. Sprunk imitates Lucy Webb Hayes the president's wife, and she performed for our class. New 6 reporter Richard Jeanette asked Mrs. Sprunk about her wardrobe for the performance. Was it hard to find clothes like she wore? No, not at all. I've been very fortunate, and because I'm interested in this type of thing, I have a great many old clothes given to me. Most of them are 100 years old, and uh, I even have bustles. If you know what the bustle is, this part back here that you perhaps don't, but uh, I do have a lot of things given to me in the same way with my little hat. That was a gift, and it is a hundred years old also. Not many cities can claim to be the home of the United States pre president, and we of Fremont are proud that ours is one that, that can. Fremont is the home of another famous person, but this one is alive. There's a, here's Elaine with that story. Remember America's 200th birthday, the bicentennial? And remember the freedom train that toured the country with exhibits about our history? A Fremont man, Mr. Bob Lorenz, designed and painted the free freedom train. He rode with the train for nine months. He has also designed and painted many other trains, including the Chessie Steam System Train, which will tour the country this, tour the country this summer. Mr. Lorenz has an extensive collection of railroad memorabilia in his basement including about 50 model engines. He also has a railroad china, a ticket window, and a model railroad system that would be the envy of any boy who ever wanted one. He also has a file of 10,000 photographs of old railroad engines and cars. Mr. Lorenz is a commercial artist, and his pictures depict many of the famous engines he's worked on, including the Freedom Train. Many of those pictures can be found in numerous railroad books which Mr. Lorenz has been asked to work on. Fremont resident Martha Christie is not famous, but she is interesting. Here's Sherry with that story. Mrs. Christie has an interesting hobby, glass blowing. Glass blowing is the art of forming a glass object from a molten piece of glass. It requires the artist to heat the melted material to 2,000 degrees, blow it by means of a pipe into a shape, and bake it until it is dry and solid. New, News 6 reporter Mark Smolin asked Ms. Mrs. Christie why she is so interested in glass blowing. It's absolutely fascinating to me. There is no, the, I'm only limited by my own time or my own talents or my own imagination. And I just, I just find it completely absorbing. I, it's almost like, um, well, I, I just have never done anything. I've done some sculpture, I've done some painting. And, some other forms, but and I love to cook, but to me the glass is a permanent creative medium. Mrs. Christie blows her glass at the Toledo Museum of Art and mainly makes pieces like paperweights and vases. She said that glass blowing is an expensive, time-consuming hobby, but she still recommends it to sixth graders. 
Well, I would tell them not to um, not to overlook it. To if if the idea of glass, if they have a visual feel for things, if they like if they like beautiful things, if they like color, if they like to use their hands, and they have the opportunity to uh, experience the fundamentals of glass blowing, do it because it's just I. It's an art that can be used. There are are men or artists working in glass that are making very uh, common, ordinary things that people use, glasses and pitchers and that type of thing. There are also people who are making very funny things. There's one that makes animals and uh, bears and so forth, and they're just really funny and, and fun to have. And there are other people who make very delicate art uh, that you would have to be very careful of. So whatever they like to do, try it you know they'll never know if they want to get into it and it's a marvelous field and uh, there are a lot of really good studios where they can apprentice and learn the craft and finally sixth graders at hayes elementary are learning something new something called tinickling we learn it in music class what is tinickling it is an a dr it is a dramatic dance of the philippines in which the dancers perform along the sides in between two bamboo poles, which are struck together in time of two music. Tinkling is named after the long-legged tickling bird that hops between tall reeds and tree branches. Hopping in between the bamboo poles without getting caught demonstrates skill, but it is still a lot of fun, even if you do, even if you get caught. And that is needed, and that is needed all that is needed to tinkle is two bamboo poles, approximately nine feet long, and it's certainly more fun than regular music activities. Thank you for joining us on News 6, which was brought to you this week by the sixth grade classes of Mrs. Joan Grendel and Miss Barbara Wetzel at Hayes Elementary in Fremont. Next week, News 6 will be produced by the sixth grade at Northwood Middle School. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.